Ladies and gentlemen, today I am very excited. It's a glorious day for me, mainly because we've reached the end of what some might say was a grueling, grueling, grueling season of Big Brother Mzansi season for Siam Mosha. Right. Ladies and gentlemen, without any further ado, the one, the only, the winner himself, two million rand in the bag, and a couple head of house challenges. How you doing, bro? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. I'm doing good, man. I'm doing uh, good. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Was there a game plan and was there a strategy? None whatsoever. I just walked in and I was like, I'm going to be me. That was it. There was no game plan, nothing. No strategy, nothing. That was just all you? It was just all me. Now, the one thing that we noticed about you is that you, you, you rather enjoyed your solitude or mm. your isolated moments. You right. know? Um, what's that about? Well, you know, two reasons. One, when we do tasks, mm -hmm. I like to step away just to work. Okay. I like working on my own, you know what I'm saying? Just mm -hmm. get the work done, practice, rehearse, perfect it, repeat, repeat, repeat. That's what I do. But then on a different level, just I prefer my, my own company. I like my own company, you know what I'm saying? I mm -hmm. like being in my mind. I stay in my mind a lot, you know what I'm saying? I, sometimes I reflect. Sometimes I introspect. I'm like, yo, maybe I shouldn't have done that. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? I did something and I shouldn't have done it. You know what I'm saying? Or I just sit there and reflect about things that happen and things that I think about things I want to do in the future. You know what I'm saying? What yeah. happens if I do win this money? You don't know how many times I thought about that. Like, I would <laughs> think about that every day. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And you didn't mince your words much, you know, yeah. when speaking to people directly yeah. and, and telling them how you feel. I think at certain points it could have been detrimental to me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? When when you're too upfront with people, you're getting nominated. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you're, you're getting nominated. Like like yeah. you know what you did. You know what you did with my cake. Yeah. You know what you did over there. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But then you know on the other on the other side of the coin, I'm authentic, man. And if I think something about you, then you know, I'm I'm gonna say it. You know what, mm. what I'm saying? I'm gonna say it. I'm not gonna sit there and mince my words. You know what I'm saying? I respect a man that could tell me what they think. And I'm going to be that dude that's going to tell you what they think, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. You and Papa Ghost did not... What's the French word? But what's the French word? Y'all didn't fuck with each other. Facts. You know what I mean? Facts. Why is that from, from your perspective? He was an abrasive character as okay. far as I'm concerned. You mm -hmm. know, day one, man, dude is coming in on some, this is who I am, you're going to accept me, I don't need this and that and the other from you. Dude is just, you know what I'm saying, just hammering people. Yeah. He's yeah. just hammering people. <laughs> and I'm looking at him like, you know, I, I wish he would. Like, and I was looking at him like, I wish this, I don't know if I can say that word. The, the, the. It's the internet, bro. I wish that nigga would. <laughs> I, was, I was sitting there like, I wish that nigga would, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, and he did. Mm. And I was waiting when he did. You know what okay. I'm saying? Because I'm not, I'm, honestly, I meant it. I'm not the one, man. Yeah. I'm not the one. You're not going to come at me with that attitude and try to hammer me. And nah, bro. Okay. And apart, and apart from Papa Coast, yeah. you know, um, what genuine, authentic relationships do you think you developed with some of the housemates? And who were they? I'm not keeping any connection from that house, man. Nobody? Not, nah, my nigga. Not a thing. I mean, I might, if, if, a converse, if I run into you, like, yo, you know what I'm saying? Hey, hey how you doing? Hey, That's it, just to run in. Yeah, yeah, I'm not. You're not any, calling anybody. I'm not up, meeting any of those people intentionally. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. I know that makes me sound like a bad person. I'm not. You know what I'm saying? If I meet him, though, if I run into him, I'm like, yo, yo, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You're good. Life is treating you good. And if, if there's an opportunity to work, then hey, we'll work. You know what yeah. I'm saying? But that's going to be that. On some friend level, nah. Okay, maybe maybe I'll meet Fahim somewhere once. I'll meet Diablo. Okay, yeah, maybe, okay, maybe, okay, maybe if okay. it happens. But yeah. I'm not gonna go out of my way. Some of them were just too offish, man. The attitudes, the, the, the people you, you get along today, you don't get along tomorrow. Nah, man, I'm not that type of dude. And and I like my own space generally anyway. So you know, it's I'm, all good. It's all good. No hard feelings, man. I hear you. I hear yeah. you. We s almost saw you warm up open up or attempt to open up, you know, uh, certain relationships, specifically with the two ladies. Tell sure. me, let's start with Fahima. Um, what about her made you allow her into the space? She got me. Mm. Fahima understood me day one. Like we literally on day one sat the whole night and spoke. You know what I'm saying? We just talking. 
and there was a point of relation. We just, I just understood her and she understood me. Okay. I don't know what it was, but I don't meet a lot of people like that. I mean, I don't intentionally go out and meet a lot of people, mm -hmm. but meeting somebody that gets you on that level is, is, is different to me and it was special, especially in that environment. And then there was Liema. <laughs> For us and what we saw at first, it, it just felt like you were coming in and I, don't want to put words in your mouth. You were coming in as just, you know what, homegirl genuinely needs someone who can look out for her. So initially it was just that, it was, yo dude, you're capable. Yeah. Put more into the task. Don't be slacking in the task because you want to accommodate dude that's probably just using you because he's got another girl every second day. Yeah. So that's what it was initially. And then the relationship developed. I started liking her as a person. She's yeah. a dope person, a cool person. Cool girl, man. I like, I like the girl. It was a cool girl. It was nothing more than that. It was never anything more than that. I liked the girl, cool girl. I was really just trying to get her to put more in because she had a lot to give, I felt. My KK. Mm. My KK. Honestly speaking, did you see him as a strong contender in the game? I told Big Brother yesterday, if I'm not winning it, he is. Mm. I knew that, I knew that dude was bad. I yeah. knew he was bad out here. I knew it. Yeah. I knew it in my heart. You could tell. Yeah. You just had to sit sit with him for a few minutes, and the personality that comes through. Yeah. That, that dude is bad. Mm. You knew he was bad. You know, if it wasn't him, it was gonna be Bravo. Ah. You okay. know what I'm saying? Yeah. So for me, I knew it, and I told him on Saturday evening, if I don't win it, you're gonna win it because of your personality. And, and for you, the, that's that's the only that was competition. It. That was that it. was. I was looking at him. Yeah. He was the only person I was. I respected everybody. You mm -hmm. have to respect everybody. Sure. But. When it came to it, I knew I was looking at him. I knew I was looking at him. In watching your game and watching your strategy and everything, you said something to me that actually bothered me quite a bit, you know? Um, I think it was in one of your diary sessions. Yeah. Uh, and you were speaking to Big Brother. And your response to Big Brother's question was, I don't think people vote for someone like me. Facts. You know? And, and I was very intrigued at that, you know, yeah. as to where that comes from. So, where does that come from? Why did you think that at the time? I still think it now. I'm shocked now. Why is it? <laughs> well, what, what about that? Man, you know, you know the thing about introverts, man. Like, mm -hmm. you know, you're gonna have a lot of insecurities, confidence, not your thing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So for me, it was, dude, I'm walking around here with this pout, yeah. and I'm not saying jack to anybody. <laughs> I'm, I'm not making it here. Yeah. And everybody was on some, nah, man. Everybody, I was the underdog. Mm. Everybody was just on some, nah, I'm like, Junior. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? And that gets to you as a person. As yeah. much as I know I, you know, I can turn it on when I have to, but yeah. that gets to you. And I just, I just really didn't think anybody would look at me and, cause I spend a lot of time indoors, man. I'm always inside writing some, some ish or yeah. working on some or acting some ish or, mm. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So. That was crazy for me to like, yo, you niggas are voting. You know what I'm saying? You niggas yeah. actually think I deserve to be here, which is crazy. That was crazy. I didn't expect that. And with you sitting here today, right now, as the winner, yeah. do you think the reason you, you won was, you know, introverts united? Um, wh what do you think? What do you think attributed to your, to your winning? Two things. Uh, three, actually. Yeah. Authenticity, one. I think I didn't fake it a day in that house. Mm -hmm. Number two, I think it was a little introverts united because I don't think they'd seen somebody like me in that house. And I've seen a lot of seasons. Yeah. yeah. I haven't seen someone like me in that house. Okay. So I think it was like, yo, they're taking people like this now? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah, yeah. I think it was a bit of that. You <laughs> know, this is the system. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. you got him by accident. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And the drive, man. I deliberately every Thursday, every Monday, every Friday, I went out there and I, I wasn't playing when I said I would die in that arena. Yeah. I wasn't playing. Yeah. Even if it was for one round, mm -hmm. I was gonna get out there and fight. I think people respect that. Yeah. People respect the ethic. Respect the people, they respect you. Mm. Captain of the ship right now, you're steering your course towards what? Business, man. I'm not, as I said, I wasn't the one for fame. I didn't come here for that. I didn't come here for that. Hey, man. You know, I didn't come here for, oh my God, you can act. Thank you. I'm mm -hmm. grateful I learned that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But I didn't come here for that. Mac Jr., sir. Yo. Thank you so much for taking the brave step to form part of Big Brother. Thank you so much for 
trusting that inner voice and being brave. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for being your authentic self and being human. Yeah. And with that, we say, you make us very, very, very proud. Thank you, Mr. Lawrence. And we hold you in high regard. And when we speak of big brother winners, you are all of it and more. Thank you. Mr. Thank you, my brother. Thank you for those words. Thank you, my brother. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, that is Mac Junior. The winner of two million rand. I had to do that closing because you know, the cheddar, the cheddar. <laughs> um, but on a serious note, thank you guys for tuning in. You know, follow the man. Um, and if he doesn't want you to follow him, follow him anyway. Remind him that you're there. Like every single post, like every single thing, retweet it. Tell everybody about Mac Jr. Because if he dares goes into hiding, we're going to get him. We're going to get him, we're going to get him. I don't even know what my handle is. Hey man, you can find what your handle is. I'm gonna throw it out there. <laughs> <laughs>